For this lesson, the area of the triangle is going to be done with two methods using trig. We're going to draw just our basic triangle with side planks of a little a, little b, little c, and with their capital letter opposite angles. And we're also going to draw a height down on the triangle, which we're going to label h. As we've seen from this chapter that since we have a right angle between h and b, the area, not the area, sorry, the height can be expressed as little a times the sine of angle C, uh, given this angle right here, can also be expressed as little, uh, little c sine of angle A, if I look at it from this perspective uh, right here. Let's take the area of a triangle that you always learned and loved, one half base times height, and just do some simple substitutions. So we get the area of a triangle is one half B times A sine of c, or if I simplify this to the version we're going to use, area of a triangle is one half a b sine of angle c, which means it's essentially using the side angle side principle by having side length a, side length b, and the angle between them. You could write this in three other versions, one half a c sine of angle b, or one half a, or sorry, b c, sine of angle A. But this first one's the only one I really remember and use. And again, this is a side angle side. It's one half side side and the angle between them. Be careful not to use cosine. This is a sine property. The next formula is called Heron's formula. And it takes a little bit of time to derive. I actually have the derivation in OneNote. Um, I'm actually going to delete the page I'm working on now, but if you want to see the derivation, it takes a little bit of time, but it uses the law of cosines and the area of a triangle in terms of sine to synthesize this. We start by saying let S equal a semi-perimeter. It's easier to write this in terms of a, another variable. A semi-perimeter is taking all three sides and dividing it by two, adding them up, divide by two. It's half the perimeter. So... If I have a triangle with side lengths of A, B, and C, I don't need anything else um, to get the area. The area of this triangle is the square root of the semi-perimeter times the semi-perimeter minus A, semi-perimeter minus B, and semi-perimeter minus C. And that's it. Uh, this will give you the area of a triangle in a different way. You should know and use both of these different formulas depending on what you have as quick ways to get areas of triangles. So this one is what you have when you have side, side, side. This one is when you have side, angle, side. And then, of course, one half base times height is when you have side, side, um, side and a height. But that's rare, rare that you may have that in a triangle that's just kind of measured the way that these often are.